Assalamu alaikum viewers please like share and subscribe this channel links of pdf files used in this video are given in description so today's lecture is part 2 of the series about nanomaterials and in this particular lecture we will study the basic synthesis processes of nanomaterials and uh, we will mainly focus on top down and bottom up approaches In the previous lecture we have studied various applications of nanomaterials including basic classification schemes of nanomaterials uh, the focus of this lecture will be the synthesis of nanomaterials and there are basically two approaches which we adopt in order to synthesize nanomaterials first approach is called as top down approach whereas the second approach is called as bottom up approach top down approach means that we have a material in bulk form then we apply certain techniques and convert this bulk material into powder form and then further this uh, powder material is processed to get our nano materials on the other hand in bottom up approach we start from the atoms these atoms join together to form molecules or seeds and further these molecules are rearrange to form nano materials having various applications so in this way uh, the nano materials are synthesized by adopting these two approaches top down approach and bottom up approach now if we see here uh, the particular ex uh, example of top down and bottom up approach so here we can see that this is the bulk material and this bulk material is applying applied under energy and is converted into small particles or in powder form and uh, if we see this powder uh, actually this consist of the agglomerates of molecules and uh, uh, if the material is in the form of like these sheets then next step is exfoliation of these layers or sheets to a single layer and then this single layer is converted into nanoparticles and the particular examples of these nanoparticles are like fluorescence diamond graph graphene nano sheets these all are the examples of nanomaterials similarly in bottom up approach what we are doing here don't confuse with the direction Uh, uh, uh this is the bottom up approach it, it doesn't uh, link with the direction but it is the way we start things so we start from these precursor molecules and then we convert these molecule into rings these rings are joined together further these rings are further condensed to form these clusters and finally these clusters are converted into nanoparticles in the form of graphene nano sheets diamonds fluorescence etc so in this way Uh, we do the top down approach and bottom up approach in order to synthesize nano materials so next we see what are the methods or uh, the the processes which involve top down approach so first of all the method is called as ball milling here we can see that there is a bigger sphere and it is rotating and in this bigger sphere are there are heavy balls which rotate along with the um uh, opposite direction of the uh, outside wheel uh, due to the centrifugal force now these are the particles which are uh, actually grind together due to the force of these spheres so if we can see here in zoom form that these particles are crushed and finally these are divided into nanometer size range so in this way ball milling is used to convert the materials from macro form into nano form uh, so it is a very simple method second a more complex method of uh, doing the uh, this approach is by using lithography so lithography is a technique used to create patterns on a substrate at a nano scale level it involves either transferring a pattern from a mask or template onto a surface using light or electrons the primary purpose of lithography in nanomaterial synthesis is to precisely define and control the spatial arrangement of nano structures allowing for the creation of functional materials with specific properties so if we are seeing here that this is the substrate and on its surface 
we are making markings on nanoscale level and here we are using electron gun so what this gun is doing that by the force of electrons certain patterns on some chips or some nano materials are created and then either we use these patterns as it is such like for electromagnetic circuits or it is used for the creation of certain groups or functional materials on the surface so uh, there are further types of lithography like mass lithography and uh, massless lithography but uh, uh, for introduction introduction uh, point of view uh, the lithography is just used to write or to create patterns at nanoscale on the materials the next uh, top down approach is called as epitaxy epitaxy word is derived from true greek words epi means upon and taxis means arrangement so actually epitaxy refers to the growth of a crystalline layer on a substrate in such a way that the atoms in the layer mimic the atomic arrangement of the substrate it results in high quality interface between the layer and the substrate here in this example it has been tried to explain this complex process so if we are seeing here that this is m1 material lattice and the atomic arrangement in these lattice material is small whereas here is the m2 lattice and it contains large distance between the atoms so what we are doing here that we are placing m1 on m2 substrate so now the arrangement is sometimes like that because the bottom or substrate contains wider arrangement so it imparts or forces a stress on the m1 uh, material and in this way it feeds a tensile strain similarly in this example if we are seeing here that there are core shells of m1 and m2 nanoparticles so the substrate is uh, containing narrow arrangement of atoms whereas the top layer is m2 and it has actually the wider distance so the force is inward side uh, as a result of which uh, the arrangement is such like that uh, the compressive strength is or compressive strain is made so uh, this is the material m2 which is pasted on the material m1 and if we zoom here uh, the compressive strain is applied so here tensile strain is applied and in this arrangement a compressive strain is applied so uh, what is the quantity of strain and it depends upon the twin boundary density like whatever the density of this boundary is greater will be the strain so here uh, we have seen there there are grain one particles and there are grain two particles one have octahedral arrangement other have icosahedral arrangement so uh, if we open these structures and see here that these are the pure arrangements whereas this is the strain field and in this strain field actually uh, the properties are different as compared to both pure materials so uh, what is the applications of this uh, epitaxial arrangements these found applications in electronics optoelectronics thermoelectrics and catalysis so the purpose of this uh, and technique is to create a special properties at the interfacial region and uh, hence uh, these interfaces are critical for determining the promise pro performance of devices so a very high quality interfaces if we want to create between two materials then we will be using the uh, top down approach of epitax next methods are called as a bottom up approach and in this approach we will start from smaller units and will build larger units so the first method in um, bottom up approach is we call it as a chemical vapor deposition or this method is also called as cvd so cvd is a process where gaseous precursors react to form a solid coating on a heated substrate so this is the substrate and we want to 
change its surface properties what we will do that uh, we will use some vacuum oven like this and we will heat the bottom or of the substrate so that it gets a uh, high temperature so we will react the gases like here is some metal chloride and we are using hydrogen as its reducing agent so here is the metal in pure form hcl is the byproduct which is going towards the waste so this metallic form is now getting deposit on the surface of the substrate and in this way the whole material including the substrate will be covered with this metallic form uh, which is we are using as in the reaction chamber and the whole properties of this material will be now converted into the properties of this metal so this is the first method of bottom up bottom up approach and this method is called as cvd or chemical vapor deposition method next method is called as soul gel process which is the uh, bottom up approach or bottom up method what we are using here that this is the precursor and this is the solvent this is the water and this is the catalyst and what we will do that we will do the process of hydrolysis uh, that we will making the end groups of this precursor by attaching some H and OH groups so finally this will be converted into a solution forms and when in solution these particles are now reactive they combine together by condensation finally these are converted into a gel form or gelation form and here we can see that there is the development of nanostructures or nanomaterial so this is called as soul gel process of method so what we are doing here that in the reaction chamber we have converted a reactive solution which have end groups reactive and after condensation these end groups react together to form small chain materials which are nanomaterials and these are converted into a jelly like structure or a gel form so soul gel process is an other bottom up approach in which we have started from atoms and converted into a nanomaterials so this was all about today's lecture i hope you have well understood this lecture but if you have still comment uh, questions in your mind then you can uh, make your question in the comment section i will respond as soon as possible for the time being okay thank you allah hafiz